What's cracking guys, it's Steve here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a really exciting trick to show you. It's Juan Tamari's No Touch Aces. Now this is one of the best ace assembly tricks that require no gimmicks, no setup, and better yet, the spectator does all the work. So if you're ready to learn it, make sure you hit that like button and let's go. Now to begin, you explain to the spectator that you're going to do a card trick using only the four aces and you take them all out and leave them on the table like so and you explain to them they're going to be left in a row like that however they're going to be face down and there's a very important reason for that because you're going to take a few of these cards and you're actually going to place them on top of each of the aces and the best part is the spectator does all of the work and so we'll put the aces back onto the table and then you take three random cards and you ask them which ace they would like them to go on top of. Let's say they choose this one right here. And just remind them that that is the ace of spades. And we put these cards back on top like so. You take three more and they can go anywhere the spectator wants them to go. Three random ones can go there. And from this point, they do all of the work. They square each of the piles up. You snap over each of the aces, you gather them all up, and with a little wave, all of the aces completely vanish. You see, they're not there anymore, but they haven't just gone anywhere. You see, if you look over here, there's one, two, three, and of course, there is the four aces. Now let's see how that's done. Okay, so here is how you do this incredible ace assembly trick. Now firstly, there are no gimmicks and there is no setup. So the spectator can shuffle the cards if you want them to. Now what you do first is you obviously take out the four aces. There's one, two, three, and there's four. And then you explain to them you're gonna place the aces on the table, but you're gonna leave them face down. Now the reason you do this part is really important is because you want to create an image that they remember later and that's the aces are face down and you'll see what I mean. So we square those up and we place them right here and then we tell them we're going to take a few cards and we're actually going to place them on top of each of the aces but you're going to do all the work. Now you see what I've done there? I've actually stolen four random cards and they're going to be on top of the aces okay now here's how i've done that as you're explaining that you're going to place a few cards on top you spread through you're going to place a few cards on top and you count one two three four but in your mind obviously and you catch a pinky break underneath and then you gather the aces up place them on top so you've got eight cards above the pinky and then in one motion you're going to turn this pile face down and the cards this pile here down onto the table so i'll do that again so in one motion you do that and then you explain to the spectator they're going to do all the work so there's a bit of misdirection there so i'm going to do that one last time at full speed so i'm going to take a few cards and uh, we're going to put them on top of each of the aces but you're going to do all the work so you've got to speak and do this at the same time to make it convincing. Then you pick up the packet and you put these cards face down and now you've got four random cards going onto the table. Okay, and the four aces are now on the packet right here. So now that the spectator thinks the four aces are on the table, you then say, I'm going to take three cards and I'm going to put them on top of the ace that you choose. Now at the same time, you need to catch a pinky break over here okay so you say i'm going to take a few random cards and place them on the ace that you choose catch a pinky break and let's say they choose this one right here you're then going to pick up all of these cards and place them on top of the pinky break and straight away turn over and say look remember this one here is the ace of spades and we turn these back face down and then we place the three aces on top and that's it we're finished and from here it's just a matter of putting three random cards anywhere that they want 
just like that. And the spectator squares these up and then you snap. We can do any presentation that you want and they collect all these piles and say, look, now the aces have all vanished and they haven't just gone anywhere. Give it a snap again because there's an ace there, there, and there. Now you have lots of fun with that trick. It's a good one. Now before we wrap this up, I should mention that even Juan Tamaris himself can't remember how he learned this card trick. However, I do give him full credit and this is such an amazing, amazing ace assembly trick. So you guys have lots of fun with it. As always, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. I do upload videos every single week. Hit the like button just to show me a bit of love. And feel free to leave a comment down below what you thought of that trick. Until next time, take care of yourself. There's no one more important than you. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.